At the Aditya Billa Chemicals plant at Renegut, they make products essential to our daily lives. The plant supports so many different industries. And who supports such a massive plant? ELPs like Ashish Gupta, an electrical engineer who becomes absolutely essential to this chemical plant. But how? Let's find out. We are going to speak to somebody who has started his journey from here after engineering. He's going to tell us a little more about after electrical engineering, what his life had been here and what you can learn from this process. So let's follow me. All right, so as mentioned, uh, I have Ashish with me who has been a part of this particular plant. And uh, let's tell our audience what exactly is this plant about and where are we sitting right now? We are presently sitting at Grassim Industries Limited Renoku. The main product that we have in our plant is caustic soda lye yeah. and CSF which is caustic soda flakes. Yeah. Apart from these, we also manufacture uh, value-added products which are uh, anhydrous aluminium chloride, polyaluminium chloride, uh, stable bleaching powder and uh, CP, printed paraffins. So what brings you to a factory like this? Uh, if I have to go back to your journey, what exactly have you done in life and uh, do you enjoy what you do here? I have been uh, a student of electrical engineering from BIT Sindri. So in the third year, uh, I remember we got to know about my one of my seniors who got placed in you know ABG. So from there onwards, I researched about ABG and all the companies who visit our campus. The tagline of ABG, which was at that point of time, it interested me a lot, big in your life. Yeah, so when I saw that, it was kind of the first kind of appeal to me that, yeah, this is something that I want to move in. And what was the ELP program like? So I think uh, the system of stints in ABG is particularly very interesting. So the uh, program is uh, based, uh, is structured like this for one year. There are three stints, three months, three months and six months. For the first three months, you are allotted a project. For the other three months, another project. And the rest of the six months, it is an on-job training at one of these units. Yeah. So a person who is just coming from the campus, he gets to know so much about the plant in these days that you are kind of, you know, accustomed and, you know, ready for working in the right. actual scenario of the plant. So from the projects that you mentioned, can you tell me one specific project that you really remember and think you that this resonates with what actually I have thought of doing in my life? Of course. A series of projects come in my mind, yeah. but some of them or one of them, which was uh, very much impactful, like you say, was commissioning of a transformer that we did right in here in Ukut. So it was a challenge because the shutdown time in any plant, whenever the plant is running and you know, we have to install a new component, a whole new transformer for that matter, which is supplying an entire plant. You have to, you know, ensure the time, downtime of the entire equipment connected later on or the plant has to be minimum. Yeah. So as far as I remember, we could do all these stuffs. Uh, in the morning, we started at seven and by five in the evening, the time we committed at that point of time, we were able to replace the transformer and get the plant charged. Right. So that was something which uh, was very, like we all as a team are, team are proud of, yeah. that we committed an amount of time and we, uh, we stuck by it. So I think that was something very interesting that we did. Ashish, we will talk about uh, your work a little bit. We will uh, roam around and see how this particular process works. So I would request you to take me to some of the places that you visit and work and uh, let us show our audience how this particular chemical factory works. Of course. Alright, uh, Ashish, this looks like a place where a lot of controlling happens. Uh, where exactly are we sitting right now? Because I can see a lot of machines here as well. Uh, explain to our audience, why do you call this place the heart of the plant? So, you guessed it very right. This is very much the place where from the entire plant is controlled. And as the name suggests, it's, it's called the control room of the plant. So basically, we are sitting at phase 3, control room. And this is the heart of the plant because we have the electrolyzers here. So these electrolyzers basically do the work of providing DC current right. to our membrane cells, which does the process of electrolysis. Right. And we get what is called the NaOH, the caustic soda. Further, it is concentrated to get into like 99% caustic, which is the caustic soda flakes, which we saw. Tell me a little bit about what an electrical engineer does in all this. So you mentioned what are the kind of things that happens from your, how you control things, but 
how do you fit into that entire system so answering your first question as to how an electrical engineer fits into this chemical industry so what happens is we get the power from outside or the power plant captive power plant whatever it is from it which it is stepped down using a transformer which is rectified using a rectifier and from there we get the dc current to these electrolyzers right. ashish uh, we will talk a little more about uh, the teams that you work with to make things happen and the people that you get learnings from and uh, we will also learn a little more about how you go about managing your day here and what is the learning for somebody who is just joining uh, and who is a graduate uh, is but before that i would request you to take me around to a few more places to the places that you work in uh, so that i get a full picture of how your life looks here absolutely paul i'd love to do i'd love to do that let's go Okay, Ashish. Uh, this seems like the end product comes here. Uh, tell us what exactly is this place? Where are we standing right now? And uh, since we are towards the end of this journey, I think this is a perfect place for us to discuss about what is happening here. So we are right now standing in the CSF plant. This is basically the storage area, and these bags you are seeing here, these contain caustic soda flakes, and then they wet it and then pack. And this is the end product that you see. One of our end products here, you can see. Right, and. in order to become an end product like you that you have become you start early you start investing in people like you and what was that that investment like for you uh, when you came in here in aditya bilagu what was the kind of mentorship and support that you got here when i came to this company i think i was fortunate enough to get some people who were really able to guide me properly like what am i supposed to know because when you step into a plant there are so many things you can see all of a sudden everything just shoots on your on you like this is also coming that is also coming you're not understanding anything what is happening at the very first instant but then if you start doing that in a guided manner you will understand that in a optimized amount of time you can know a lot of things very easily so sustainably speaking what exactly has uh, this particular plant or for that matter aditya builder has done to reduce the footprints in any way possible uh, and and how do you think you become a part of that change that happens feel i take pride in you know calling my business a sustainable business which uh, stresses so much upon safety as well this plant you studying standing in right now is a zero liquid discharge plant zld so that in itself is an achievement there are two gases in our plant which are of more most hazard hydrogen and chlorine whatever equipments are involved you know in storage of these gases or processing of these gases so that they don't create a havoc all these equipments are given uninterrupted power supply through dgs and uh, any systems which looks after this like the control systems and panels they are given supply through ups and all these are so well interconnected that even if a dg fails we have another dg which in support of, of that dg and even if that dg fails we have another system to support this system so i would call it a very safe and sustainable thing approach towards you know these uh, interventions okay uh, ashish we almost have reached was the end of this video one last piece of advice for people who are watching this who are uh, extremely eager to be a part of a company like this who also want to uh, be in the shoes where you are probably get interviewed uh, next time what is your advice to them uh, i would advise them like i said to stay curious that is very important like whatever you do because if i give a general advice to everyone it will not be from the standpoint of an electrical engineer it will be from the standpoint of an employee of aitha billa group or any of the manufacturing industry for that matter it will be to stay very curious never hesitate to ask a question that is why that is what i so see in many people that if they feel that this question might make me feel bad they don't ask it you you don't have to feel bad just go ahead and ask that question keep working hard like the amount of time you invest early in this industry that is of that plays a very crucial role in determining what you are going to become in the coming times i don't remember a single day when i uh, left the plant in 8 hours when i was you know i had joined this company earlier at the very first instant so you have to grind at the initial days and it will pay off very well in that that is how it is thank you very much ashish for being so candid and sharing your journey with us Welcome. it was uh, a lovely experience exploring this particular plant and trying to understand trying to understand 
what exactly happens here and i hope that you also understood a bit of it from this particular video if you have more questions that you want to ask ashish there is an option you can uh, check out the link that is in the description uh, ashish will also be part of the conversations cafe elp webinar that we are going to uh, post soon uh, you can ask him questions there as well do register for the same and do tell us in the comments below how you like this video thank you very much ashish it thank you so much for meeting you it was and a lovely meeting you that your dreams come true. sure